Hi Virgo and welcome welcome to your extended. So here we are with this card. You have to organize your room. These are just collective readings. They're just general readings. They may not resonate with everybody. If it's not your story, it might be your story next time. But for the majority of you, you're having a hard time expressing yourself. You're having a hard time defending yourself. You're having a hard time feeling like your life is in order. The reason why your life is not in order is because your bedroom for a very big percentage of you is not organized. There's a lot of clutter and there's a lot of unorganized material. And all of that represents confusion, complications, delays in your life. What is the inner work? The inner work for Virgo? Needing to regain your hope. You have lost your sense of hope. You have lost your sense of direction. You're needing to express yourself and tell somebody or a group of people how you really feel. What needs to be aired out? What needs to be talked about? that has not been discussed, that has been an ongoing issue for you. What is the spiritual work for Virgo? You've been really tense. You need to relax. You've been really tense and having problems with your posture, needing to straighten out your back and needing to watch your eating habits. If you don't take care of any health issues or any appetite issues, anorexia issues, loss of appetite, things like that. It can develop into a more serious condition if you don't take care of the root cause of your health issues right now. For the physical work we have, I'm sorry, for the spiritual work we have, you needing to steer clear of addictions. There's a lot of temptation. There's a lot of addiction. There's a lot of self-destructive addictions, or habits, or patterns that are going to cause problems in your life if you don't cut it from the root. All of these things that we just discussed are going to affect, it's going to affect your relationships. And for a very long time, I have felt that Virgos are not really interested in a commitment right now because your life is not in order or your life is not how you want it to be. Your main focus right now is door to value. You are wise in understanding that the foundation of security is of higher importance than a commitment to a relationship in this particular case. It's always different. Let's do another one. Let's do another one for any romantic interest. Hmm. I don't know if I want to take those. We have you being unable to make a decision and you not wanting to really commit or contract or sign your name for anything, which is a good thing. It's like you subconsciously know that the most important part in your life right now is resting and rejuvenation and learning how to relax it runs in your family it runs in your family thyroid problems ocd and just something that runs in the family having to do with people being unable to relax 
And that kind of energy is very contagious. So it's important for you to separate yourself from that kind of energy and say, no, you can be flighty and hyper and jumping and hopping up and down all around Virgo. But Virgo, you're going to maintain your composure. It's very important for people to stay in their own individual timing. You don't have to go with, with what everybody else is timing. You can go faster. You can go slower. You can stay neutral. You don't have to go where everybody else is going or where everybody else is flowing, where everybody else is flying, where everybody else is migrating, where everybody else is... You can go to your own beat. You can go to your own momentum. In order to be the most successful, we have a lot of cards from this deck. We have transitioning, releasing attachments to what was and prepare for what is to come. I have been feeling for quite some time now that Virgos need to stay single because Virgos are going to be transitioning. This is not going to be for all of you, of course, but for a big group of you, whoever is in charge of your family or whoever is in charge of your domestic domestic life is going to move is planning there's a big move that's happening that is inevitable and it's not a good time to get attached to anything or anyone because you don't want to get hurt you know um that's why it's so important to not get pets until you're sure that wherever you stay, you're going to stay for a long time. Following in the footprints of greatness, okay? So you're going somewhere, you're headed somewhere so much better than where you've been. I feel like around this time next year, you will already be at another location where you will be able to express yourself in a healthier, more genuine manner, where right now you feel like you have to fit a certain box to survive. Discovering the source of your true power. And then we have the bathroom card, flushing the toilet, flushing away all that no longer serves you. I feel like this is mindsets, negative mindsets, negative belief systems that just need to be flushed on the toilet. Okay, so your genuine self, who you really are, your true self when you are functioning at a neutral vibration to a higher vibration, you're, you're on the right track. There's no need to modify anything when it comes to your internal routine. You are aligned with the will of the heavens, the way of the earth, and the harmony of the people. Ride the tailwinds and welcome the generosity and abundance around you. Whatever you are doing is advantages. So either in your school or your place of work, I feel like you're going to be put in a position of representing a group of people or speaking for a group of people or representing a group of people and being the voice for the people. That's what I think that you're gonna be doing during this 
this and next semester or during this internship. If you are interested in somebody and you are in separation from them, what do they wish that they can tell you? Sometimes you get messages from multiple people. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Finding out the truth crushed me. I know I messed up everything. Let's do one more. And again, these are just general readings. So if it's not your story, you don't have to make it fit. And we have, I wonder if you are happy without me. So like I said before, I really feel that Virgos should stay single. You are, you know, the captain of your own soul. But I just feel that collectively, if Virgos are single, they should stay single and wait until the transition. If you're in a relationship, that's fine. I'm just saying for the ones that are single, I think you should stay single because there's something big happening and you just don't want to get attached to somebody who is at a distance from you, you know? Unless they're willing to move the same direction, but it just, no. That's just, that's just what I get. Okay, and then we have two colors, connecting to your deepest inner knowing. This is the beautiful color magenta. What color does Virgo need to incorporate more in their life? We have this beautiful magenta being more lighthearted with yourself, connecting to your deepest inner knowing. And then we have the color of brilliance, the color of waterfalls, discovering your sparkle. So you're talented at music, music writing, some kind of art, and you're discovering that you're really good at something that is part of your school or part of your job. That's about all the messages that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.